Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to use GeneX software to pre-process real-time qPCR data. My name is Anders Bergqvist. This video together with the auxiliary material is available at MultiD's webpage www.multid.se. The video presentation is intended to give you a comprehensive overview of features and capabilities of GeneX. However, details of selected features may be better visualized by observing screenshots and other information at MultiD's website or by running GeneX software in parallel while the video tutorial is running. A one month free trial of GeneX is available for download from MultiD's website. As a user of real time qPCR, typically have biological samples that you would like to analyze and you, you run your experiments on a real-time qPCR instrument. Different manufacturers of real-time qPCR instruments provide different output organizations of the experimental data. However, they all provide output in plain text and or Microsoft Excel format, both of which are accessible for input into the GeneX software. For the purpose of this tutorial, we will use an Excel file containing simulated real-time qPCR data called rtqpcrtreatmentrepeats.xls. In practical cases, when you have performed real-time qPCR experiments, you will experience variability in your data. The origin of the variability is either technical, that is due to experimental handling of the samples, or biological that is due to natural biological variation or due to biological treatment effects. The technical variability is typically undesired and the purpose of real-time qPCR pre-processing is to minimize the technical variability. The statistical analysis that follows real-time qPCR pre-processing is typically extensive and dynamic but based on the same set of pre-processed data. Therefore, pre-processing is performed in a separate module in GeneX before the data is loaded into the project framework. The pre-processing capabilities of GeneX is accessible by opening the experimental data in the data editor. Go to the menu file and click on edit file. For the purpose of this tutorial, change the file type to Microsoft Excel format, change to the example file folder in the GeneX directory and select to open the file rtqpcr treatment repeats. Now this opens the data editor with your data. First let's take a moment to look through how the data is organized. In this study we have anal analyzed two genes, a target or marker gene here and a reference gene here. The experimental data are CT values measured for these two genes in many different samples. The sample names are available in the first column to the left here. The columns to the right of the experimental data is associated with each gene are classification columns. Classification columns are recognized by GeneX by the hash symbol in the title row of these columns. In our example, we have classification columns for qPCR repeats, reverse transcription repeats, and treatment classifications. These columns form a convenient representation of a nested experimental design. The final column to the right contains a measure of sample amount. The nested experimental design, in our case, is organized as follows. Two different treatments are applied to six different subjects each and RNA samples are collected. Each of these 12 samples is then split into three replicates before the reverse transcription reaction and the resulting DNA samples are collected. Finally, the DNA samples are split into two replicates each before being analyzed in the qPCR machine and CT values are measured. Looking at the data from a bottom-up perspective, we see that the samples in the table are replicates of its neighbor in the following or preceding row as indicated by identical identifiers in the qPCR classification column. Three of the neighboring qPCR replicate pairs are in turn replicates as indicated by the ident 
optical identifier in the reverse transcription classification column. Finally, six of the previous qPCR replicate triplicates are treated within each treatment type, treatment 1 or treatment 2. As we scroll down in our data sheet, we also notice that the experiment has been run on two different qPCR plates. And interplate calibrator samples are available to take into account the possible experimental differences between these two runs. Before we start to pre-process our data, we also notice that some of the data measurements are missing. It is common that a few qPCR measurements fail and give no results for various technical reasons. However, since we have replicates, the missing data can be taken care of and GeneX handles this seamlessly. To start the pre-processing,